He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Seneca Emotions may be like chains that drag you down or like handcuffs that keep you in check, but what if you could make them invisible? What if you could use these feelings as tools rather than as constraints? Dear listener, your unique perspective has brought you here, and I encourage you to stay with me until the end. Rule number five holds a key that has the potential to reshape your thinking. Please, do not miss this crucial insight. Your time and attention are valuable, and I believe you'll find the journey worthwhile. First rule, avoid letting your passion for someone consume you. Love is a beautiful emotion that unites us and gives our life meaning. However, when it's very strong or biased, it can be harmful to us. If it is taken away or not returned, it may cause depression, cloud our judgment, and reveal our weaknesses. Emotionally balanced Stoic philosophers have talked about the dangers of intense connection. Ruler and Stoic thinker Marcus Aurelius observed, You govern your thoughts, not what transpires around you. When you grasp this, you find inner strength. He was referring to the ability to love without getting overly attached. It's being devoted to a relationship without let it take over your entire existence. In our personal lives, this lesson is much more evident. Think back to a time when you could have been so devoted to someone that your happiness was determined by their decisions. Emotions such as betrayal, love lost, or disappointment at wishes not realized can be difficult to deal with. But what if you could love just as much without having to take the risks? The key lies in understanding that love, like other emotions, comes and goes. Cherish it while it lasts, but don't let it serve as a shackle that keeps you back. Consider it instead like the wind blowing you along, offering guidance but not taking control of your path. Only you should determine your own course. You strengthen your soul and protect your heart when you master the art of unconditional love. You don't have to be afraid to suck yourself into deep relationships. It's the first step toward real emotional equilibrium, in which emotions control you rather than the other way around. The second rule is to lessen your empathy and quit trying to please everyone. Human virtues such as empathy, understanding, and feeling what another person goes through are highly regarded. It helps us connect, comfort, and relate to each other. However, an excess of empathy can drain our energy, mentally and spiritually. It may, at times, draw us into the problems of others at our own price. It's your reaction to events, not the events themselves, that truly counts. Famous philosopher Epicurus once stated, This viewpoint is particularly important when it comes to empathy. Although sympathizing is a normal reaction, knowing when to intervene and when to back off is crucial. Imagine a sponge that never stops collecting water. If it doesn't periodically wring out the water it encounters, it will eventually get too moist and unusable. Similar to this, we often experience emotional overload when we have an overwhelming emotional connection in everything and everyone. This causes us to lose focus, becomes exhausted, and causes our own goals to fall to the wayside. This is about deliberate empathy, not about ignoring the feelings or circumstances of others. It is knowing when to become emotionally involved and when to take a step back. In this manner, you protect yourself from unnecessary emotional strain and ensure that your empathy is real, focused, and significant when you choose to express it. Selecting the right moments and situations to show empathy becomes crucial on the road to emotional detachment. It assists you in moving through life with clarity, ensuring that your emotional energy isn't spent on every fleeting thought or occasion. The third rule is to keep your distance from negative people. The people we choose to surround ourselves with have a profound impact on our emotions, perspectives, and general well-being. A negative individual can cast a shadow over our lives, depleting our energy and clouding our judgment, much like one sour apple can destroy the whole bunch. The tenets of Stoicism included self-care and self-worth. They came to understand that although we have no control over the actions of others, we do have control over who we surround ourselves with. Famous for his Stoic viewpoints, Diogenes said, We have one mouth and two ears to make sure we listen twice as much as we talk. This emphasizes how crucial it is to pay attention to our inner voice and be cautious of the associations we make. Consider the individuals in your life. Do they often sow doubt, propagate negativity, or minimize your aspirations? It's critical to recognize and avoid these harmful influences. 
It's not about harboring resentment, but realizing that some relationships need to be severed or loosened for your mental well-being. It's not cruel to let go of poisonous individuals. It's about respecting yourself. It suggests that you prioritize maintaining your emotional equilibrium and inner serenity. By doing this, you strengthen your environment and make sure that doubt and negativity have no place there. This is a crucial step to take as you work toward becoming dispassionate. It is about fine-tuning your emotional environment such that it is infused with good energy, genuine concern, and supportiveness. Remember that the first step towards mastering your emotions is to ensure that the things around you align with your inner desires. If you are still listing, I hope you'll be feeling powerful, and if you don't want to miss any of these videos, just hit the subscribe and like button. Fourth rule, don't share your thoughts and opinions with others. Retaining discretion has a subtle power in a world that encourages us to be open and honest about our feelings. Although it's important to communicate honestly in many circumstances, the real power is knowing when to reveal our deepest thoughts and emotions. The Stoics often emphasized the importance of maintaining inner tranquility and the dangers of looking to other people for acceptance. The quality of your thoughts determines the joy you experience in life, stated Marcus Aurelius. We give people power over our emotions when we are always seeking approval or reaction from them. Think back to times you've revealed a personal achievement or a fundamental principle in order to get approval or find out what other people thought. What is obtained in exchange? You run into criticism, mockery, or jokes a lot. These situations might lower our spirits and cause us to doubt ourselves. What if you were the only one with control, unaffected by criticism from others? It's not about holding back when you decide not to express every thought or opinion. It's about taking leadership. It entails understanding that not every inner voice looks for outside approval and that our inner experiences don't always need to be validated by other people. You develop inner confidence by putting this discipline into practice. Your opinions, ideals, and feelings are unaffected by what other people may believe. Thus, they remain unwavering. This idea serves as a safety net on the path to emotionlessness. It ensures that your emotional base remains strong and unaffected by shifting opinions and comments from the outside world. Fifth rule, set boundaries and don't be around all the time. Establishing boundaries, whether they be material or psychological, is essential to maintaining our sense of self and safeguarding our mental well-being. Setting boundaries in a society where constant connectivity is expected and there's a tacit expectation to always be accessible may seem difficult. But in order to develop fortitude and become dispassionate, you must take this step. The Stoics recognize the value of reflection and time. Seneca said quite wisely, all the time you possess is truly yours. However, how often do we waste it by being available to everyone at all times, immediately responding to all notifications or fulfilling all requests? When we don't establish boundaries, we are effectively telling everyone that our time, effort, and feelings are unworthy and should be freely taken. Being available all the time can lead to tiredness, discontent, a feeling of burden, and even hopelessness. Consider maintaining your houses, windows, and doors thrown wide open, allowing anything or anybody to enter and ruin your peace. Setting limits is an indication of self-worth. It's a sign that you value your solitude, emotional reserves, and time. It's about knowing that being selective in your availability doesn't lessen your concern for others, accepting rejection with confidence and without regret, and setting apart time for introspection on your own. It only demonstrates that you value yourself as well. In order to avoid becoming sentimental, it's important to establish boundaries. It serves as a safeguard, making sure that your emotional capital isn't continuously depleted. This position enables you to maintain a balance and vitality without outside requests. The sixth rule is to prioritize oneself and embrace honesty. Rule six emphasizes the need of setting priorities and taking a straightforward approach as we draw closer to the conclusion of our investigation into emotional resilience. In order to succeed and maintain composure, you must take care of yourself. It's not about putting others down. Rather, it's realizing that if you don't take care of yourself, you can't help anyone else. Imagine being told to put on your oxygen mask before aiding others when you're on an airplane. In a similar vein, before you can actually assist someone else in life, you must first establish emotional stability and strength. 
Resilience on an emotional level requires directness. It involves stating your ideas, goals, and boundaries in plain terms. It's not about being stern. Rather, it's about speaking up with clarity, avoiding ambiguous cues, or making an excessive effort to please everyone. Being straightforward eases tension, prevents misunderstandings, and fosters genuine connections with those who respect honesty. Adhering to this principle entails making decisions that are consistent with your values and goals. It's about defining limits and being regretlessly authentic. Light up your inner enthusiasm and don't allow anything hold you back. Life is an adventure, but you are meant to prevail. Make sure to subscribe for more engaging videos before you leave. Now, summon your inner fortitude and rule the day.